Hey guys, Solano here and welcome back to Play to Earn. If you are a fan of card games and wanted to try out some that are powered by the blockchain, then you just click the right video. For today, I'll be talking about five Play to Earn card games that you can try and all of these are also free to play, meaning there's no need to spend anything to get started. If this sounds interesting to you, then let's get right to the list. The first game on our list is Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is a PvP breeding card game being built on Ronin. Axie Infinity is a game where you can collect, breed, battle, and trade adorable creatures called Axies. Axies are digital pets that live on the blockchain. They have unique genes, abilities, and appearances. You can own your Axies just like physical trading cards or figurines, and it is without a doubt the first game that made the scholarship system famous. The game has many features and modes that will keep you entertained and engaged. You can equip your Axies with runes and charms that enhance their powers and unlock new strategies. You can battle monsters called Chimera or test your skills against other players in the arena, and you can climb the leaderboard and become a living legend. You can also breed your Axies to create new ones with different traits and combinations. You can trade, sell, or lend your Axies with anyone on the marketplace. And with the new land gameplay, you can even start your own village on the planet of Lunasia and lead your Axies as they harvest, craft, and build. You can earn rewards by playing the game and participating in various events and tournaments. You can also join the Axie Creator Program and grow your following and gain exclusive perks. Axie Infinity is also a platform for other games and experiences that are built by the community. Axies are tickets to an infinite universe of possibilities, and the game has continued to grow ever since its inception. If you want to start your adventure with Axie Infinity, you can get free starter Axies when you start playing the game. For even more info, you can check their website and socials in the description below. You can also watch our dedicated Game Spotlight video for an even deeper dive about the game. The next game on our list is Gods Unchained. Gods Unchained is a collectible card PvP game being built on Immutable. Gods Unchained is a turn-based card game that is similar to other popular games like Hearthstone, Magic, The Gathering, and Legends of Rune Terra. You can choose from six different gods, each with their own unique powers and cards. You can also customize your deck with cards from various sets, including free-to-play and expansion sets. The game is played on a board with two lanes, where you can summon creatures, cast spells, and use your god power. The goal is to reduce your opponent's life to zero or make them run out of cards. You can play against other players in ranked or casual matches or challenge yourself in solo or gauntlet modes. Since it's a blockchain game, you have true ownership of your cards. You can trade them with other players on the marketplace or sell them for real money. You can also earn rewards by playing the games such as Fragments, Flux, and God's Tokens. Fragments are used to craft new cards from the latest expansion set. Flux is used to fuse cards and increase their rarity and power. God's Tokens are the native currency of the game, which you can use to buy card packs, enter tournaments, or state for governance rights. The game is playable now if you want to try it out. For even more info, you can check their website and socials in the description below. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with play to earn card games. And now let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is Parallel. Parallel is a collectible sci-fi card game being built on Ethereum and base. Parallel is a sci-fi franchise and trading card game empowering collectors to truly own their cards and other game items. The game has a rich lore and story, which is revealed through comics, avatars, terminals, and companions. Players can explore the different factions, planets, and characters that shape the parallel universe. You can choose from five parallel civilizations when you start the game and help fight for your home. There are the Earthen, the Agincourt, the Markolian, the Cathari, and the Shroud. Players can create their own decks from a collection of cards, each with unique abilities and effects. Players can also customize their cards with cosmetics, such as skins and frames. You will need at least one complete deck of a parallel faction. A deck consists of 40 cards from a single parallel, plus universal cards. Universal cards do not belong to any parallel and may be used in all decks. And at the head of their deck is their paragon, which acts as the leader. The paragon they choose also decides the general playstyle they can utilize against their enemies. Players can use energy to play cards and activate their effects. Energy can also be banked to increase the maximum capacity. More energy allows players to play stronger cards and unleash powerful attacks. Players can summon units to form their armies and battle. And once your enemy's health reaches zero, you win the match. For a deeper dive about Parallel, you can check out our Play to Earn game spotlight about it. For even more info, you can check their website and socials in the description below. The next game on our list is Cross the Ages. Cross the Ages is a strategy card game being built on Immutable. 
Cross the Ages is set in a dystopian world where mystical creatures and masters of magic collide with AI-powered cyborgs in a fight for the last resources of power. The lore of this universe is based on seven novels, and its essence is based on a mix of three major types of literature, fantasy, science fiction, and post-apocalyptic. The trading card game is based on this universe and features characters from Artelium, the world of Cross the Ages. The game is built around four main elements, which are the cards, the heptagram, the card deck, and the 4x4 game board. The cards represent the main characters you use, and they can come from various factions like Arkhand, Mantris, and Rift. Each card has an element and a power, as well as other characteristics such as rank and grade. The heptagram represents the strengths and weaknesses of certain card traits. You'll have to familiarize yourself with these advantages to prepare a better strategy against your enemies. Using your cards, you can build your deck, enter the arena, and fight in an intense territory conquest where strategy will reign. You can play either solo in the adventure mode, or you can explore the story and overcome challenges. If you're feeling extra competitive, you can participate in PvP matches in the arena. The game is playable now if you want to try it out. It is free to play and available on several platforms. For even more info, you can check their website and socials in the description below. The last game on our list is Dark Country. Dark Country is a collectible card game being built on WAX and other networks. Dark Country is a play and earn strategy card game with an American Gothic theme. It is set in a somber Wild West setting with rangers, cowboys, zombies, ghosts, and demons. The main game idea and mechanics are inspired by classic card games like Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone. The game is also free to play. Dark Country welcomes everyone with a gift of a free starter deck. You can use your cards to immerse into PvP matches and reap the rewards without the hidden fees. Cards in Dark Country are NFTs and are essential for gaming. You can also trade, stake, and collect them however you like. Cards unlock possibilities for PvP, PvE, tournaments, quests, and leasing. Hero cards are the most important ones you need, and they are considered as legendary NFT assets. The game also has other mechanics such as a land gameplay, where you can engage in the lucrative adventure of thrilling quests, staking, leasing, participating in epic guild wars, and forming strategic alliances. In the realm of Dark Country, you can earn SDM tokens through activities on the lands and PvP matches. SDM can be exchanged for wax and other currencies, enabling versatile value exchange. The game is playable now if you want to try it out. For even more info, you can check their website and socials in the description below. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you are looking for play to earn card games that you could try for free, then I hope this video helped. And for even more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.com, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today. See you in the next video.